From White House Field in Harwich, the Hyannis Harbor Hawks dropped the contest 6 to nothing to the Eastern Division Harwich Mariners in the 13th game of the season. Hi everybody, welcome into Hawk Talk. Lyle Goldstein, Brendan Howe here with you. And Brendan, tonight after a 10-3 win over Falmouth on Wednesday, off day yesterday, it felt like some things were rolling for Hyannis. It felt like the offense was really starting to get going, but it just wasn't to be tonight. And they really showed a lot of promise in that 10 right outing the other night in Falmouth. And tonight, you kind of expected the offense to keep rolling, but not a lot of hard contact tonight. Give them credit. Their starter, Secor, tonight, six score with innings. He was absolutely splendid, and Hyannis just couldn't get anything going. Seckler out of Missouri State, six scoreless innings for the Harwich Mariners with Will Heflin coming in to finish the final three. Now on the offensive side, there were a couple bright spots, and I think you have to look right at Anthony Servideo. Here's a kid who came in a little bit late. He struggled a little bit early, but two for four tonight, a two-hit game, a double and a single. We know he's got some speed on the base pads, and he's starting to put the hits together too. And it's great for him to get the bat going. I mean, two hits tonight, as you mentioned. He came in two for his first 20. So for him to get a couple base knocks tonight, definitely good for the mentality going forward for him. And as far as Hyannis as a whole, he was really the lone bright spot, like you mentioned. But, you know, all things aside, tough one for Hyannis. Just got to swallow it and move on. Well, from the box to the mound, Tyler Madison, who to this point in the season has been one of the best Harbor Hawk arms, got what was technically his second start of the summer, his third unofficial start of the summer. He lasted just four and a third innings, gave up three earned runs, but Brennan, we talked about it on the call tonight. That's not really indicative of how he threw the ball, because he actually threw the ball pretty well. There was not a lot of hard contact put on against him. It was just a kind of a cut kind of a couple of tough breaks for him. No, and his line doesn't tell the full story like you mentioned, not even close. In fact, he didn't get much help behind him in the field. Three errors racked up in the first couple of frames for Hyannis. And, you know, Madison was looked a bit frustrated on the mound, and rightfully so. I mean, he's had a couple of tough ones early on, but the line tonight didn't tell the full story like you mentioned. And, you know, going forward, he's only had two official starts. He had one where they got washed away because of rain and fog, whichever you want to call it. But going forward for Madison, he's just got to keep his head up. So Madison on the mound tonight, but looking forward to tomorrow, Hyannis travels out east again to take on the first place Chatham Anglers in the Eastern Division. Now, Brendan, looking forward to that game, a 7 o'clock start tomorrow night. What are we expecting from Hyannis tomorrow? It really depends on what version of the offense you get. If you get the offense that outbursted and found with the other night scoring 10 runs, you might wind up with a good ball game. But if you get the offense that showed up tonight with just three hits, you know, you might not get enough. So it's going to depend. If Chatham's a great team going forward into their ballpark. It's going to be crowded tomorrow night. So we'll see. But it's, I think it should be a good one. Hyannis set to take on Chatham tomorrow from Veterans Field. We'll talk to you then.